Hey guys, it's Kelly. Welcome back to my channel. I wanted to start this tutorial with a hair update. I promised you guys that I would show you my hair. Um, I have you in my hand right now. <laughs> um, before I start doing my makeup, I just wanted you to kind of see my hair and what I had done. So first of all, well, it's been blood dried and um, flat ironed for now. But you'll notice that what I had her do was she warmed up the roots of my hair really well. Um, they were getting kind of dull and of course you know I had some some gray and so as she went down she did a biolage um, and she did that so that as you get further and further down it gets blonde and she cut some long layers back into it so you can see that right now when I've got it pulled around the front like this so it's getting um, another treatment in six weeks what she's going to do is she's going to do another biolage on it she's going to bring the the blonde up a little bit higher and then there'll be highlights through this area so I'm slowly but surely going lighter than my normal everyday natural color <laughs> and the reason for that is because I do have so much gray that I want to have my hair pretty light by the point that I have so much gray that you know maybe it won't show as much I guess that's what I'm working towards and it, it is a process you know when you have your hair done it's a process so yeah that's a hair update and now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna switch over okay guys I'm putting my ears on <laughs> and um, I'm going to try and get you just in uh, my face a little bit more. I have products everywhere, as you know. Okay, um, today what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing full drugstore, back to school, easy going, nice but not overdone makeup for a girl. Um, I guess it took a minute to spit that out. Um, before I do this though, I do want to put out a disclaimer. Um, if you, it's you or if it's your daughter or, um, you know, anybody that you care for that you are working with as far as makeup's concerned, it doesn't matter what kind of makeup you use. It doesn't matter how high-end or low-end it is, you have to start with a good blank slate. You have to start with a good canvas. So there's nothing that um, can be recommended to you for acne and those kinds of things. You have to take care of your skin first. And I would suggest what I did with my son, and you know, it's even more so with girls, I'm sure, <laughs> um, but I would not let my daughter even start wearing makeup until she's proven that she has mastered a good skincare routine and that she is, you know, capable of not just cleansing her face in the morning, but cleansing her face at night and cleansing it to the point that she really truly needs to. She needs to be exfoliating her face on a regular basis. That's one of the top causes next to dirty brushes, um, not cleaning her brushes and those kinds of things. Um, if you don't exfoliate, see, a teenager, you know with their hormones and all of those things that are going on in their body, they're producing an excess of oil. And if you don't get off the day's grime from just walking around barefaced, hopefully with some sunscreen at least, <laughs> Um, but I mean, if, if you're not exfoliating the dead skin cells and all that excess oil off a couple of times a week at the very least, whether you're using something like as high end as a Clarisonic or Foreo, or you are just using a scrub from like St. Ives. So they do, St. Ives does put out a good scrub. It's their green tea scrub. I believe it says, um, it has the charcoal. It's just their green tea. Uh, charcoal. She needs to have shown that she can take care of her skin without makeup. 
before you'd go to makeup. Let's assume <laughs> that you are now ready to introduce um, your um, son or daughter to makeup, um, whichever it may be, and um, more commonly a girl. So forgive me if I <laughs> leave you boys out. <laughs> but um, I have here in front of me all kinds of things that are from the drugstore. The only thing I don't have from the drugstore is a primer. So I'm gonna go without a primer for this one, but I have washed my face, I've exfoliated, and I've moisturized. So um, I do have um, everything that I need. One thing that I do want to mention, I just recently hauled it in one of my videos, but this is just a plain glass candle holder. It has a bit of a well in it. It's not just smooth. It does have a side up on it, okay? It, it was like two, maybe $2.99, something like that. Um, I just found it at Michael's, but you can get it at Target, Walmart. You can get it anywhere, but this is going to enhance the sanitary effect. <laughs> um, the uh, Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless is what I'm going to be using today. Now, you can use this if you have um, two foundations that you need to mix together because you're like sort of in between seasons when it comes to having been tanned or, you know, one of your um, makeup, your one of your foundations is either too dark or too light and you're going to mix it. This is a great thing to have to mix, but it's also a great thing to have if you are trying to keep everything sanitary. So you can just pour a bit of your makeup and very, very little, and you have to be careful, but you can pour it in there, and then you're gonna use your sponge or your brush or whatever you're gonna use, and you're gonna dab it out of there, and that way you never have to touch the makeup or your face at all. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. I'm gonna to be dipping out of that. Um, I'm even using tools from the drugstore, so all of my brushes are either Eco Tools or they are um, Real Techniques. If you cannot afford a beauty blender, and those are $20 and I totally understand, and I would start my child with drugstore makeup actually, because they're gonna go through phases where they like one thing or another, you know. Um, and also, you are going to be dictating the price ranges that they're, or the amount of money they're gonna be allotted for their makeup. So, um, I would suggest going with the Real Techniques. I got this from Walmart. I think it's seven or eight dollars, something like that. You can find it at Target, Walmart, Ulta, drugstore.com. You can find it in, in all those places. Um, it swells up when you moisten it just like a beauty blender. Now, the, con the, the feel of it is different, but that's because I'm used to my beauty blender. Um, but it's still a great sponge. It still has this nice point so that you can get here in these areas when you're doing your uh, concealer. But it also has this that you can, this side, that is actually really handy if you're gonna do any baking here to clean up a line or anything like that. You know, if you're a little bit more advanced into your makeup and that sort of thing. It's also a good way to just disperse your, your makeup. So since I don't have a um, primer, I'm just gonna get started with my actual makeup. So I did shake this already, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna shake just a little bit more. Now, I chose uh, the Maybelline Fit Me. I chose the matte and poreless version because I do, I tend to get hot really easily and um, I'm just pouring a little bit out and I do mean a little bit. And I like to kind of, I don't pour it all into just one little spot. I kind of move it around. That will be more than enough for my face. And then I'll go ahead and cap my foundation and if I need more I'll open it back up but this will prevent spills so I'm just gonna kind of go in with the point of my beauty blender oh and another thing I have had my brows tinted so I won't have to do as much to my brows as I normally do I'll just need to tame them so I'm not gonna really be using a brow pencil but you know there are brow pencils out there I would suggest the one from L'Oreal the I think it's called the brow definer I would suggest that one if you're going drugstore. Okay, so I'm just gonna kinda go in with my sponge and I'm just gonna get started putting my makeup on. 
Um, this sponge does tend to hold a little more water than, say, um, the Beauty Blender. I do not like any of the sponges. They're shaped like, I've got one. The, the sponges that are shaped anything like this, they're awful. And they hold a lot of bacteria. So I would just keep that in mind. Um, they're very hard to clean. Because they don't squish very well. They're hard. Um, I know that the new tart one that they just come out with is terrible. I can tell you that. I've watched enough video videos with that already to know that that one is not a good, that, that is not a good one. Okay, now I've kind of done the center of my face. I can always go back and, and work if I need to build up my coverage. I am not doing very much color correcting because honestly, most young girls that are going back to school don't need a lot of color correcting. So I'm gonna do a little bit under my eyes and that is about the only place you're gonna have problems most likely unless you have redness like me. Um, so just keep that in mind. Unless she has redness that she's trying to camouflage, you probably won't have to invest in any uh, color correcting kinds of things. But if you do and you are on a budget and you are, you know, trying to stay in the drugstore, NYX has a really good color correcting palette and it has several different colors on it. Uh, or in it. <laughs> it has several different colors in it. And um, that way you can lighten under your eyes. You can cover um, red with the green. You can brighten. Um, if your child tends to stay up studying late at night and doesn't get as much sleep as what you would like, um, then they are going to probably possibly have dark circles. So that's just something, you know, it's, it's a very personal, very, you know, it, it's all about personal need and that sort of thing. So yeah, just keep that in mind. Now, um, I did go down my neck. Make sure that when you're teaching that you go over the ear, make sure that you don't have any lines, an orange line from not just failing to blend it out, but having the wrong color. <laughs> it, it, yeah. <laughs> uh, I would just, you know, you do the best you can as far as color matching is concerned. Um, if you have a really fair child um, or young lady, um, you should be able to go with um, fair or um, ivory in most makeups. Um, that'll be what it's called. Anything up from that, you're going into the colors that they would call beige, that sort of thing. Okay, so what I did, did, you can see, that's all that's left on the plate. I'm going to set this on the plate while I'm waiting to finish because I'm going to be doing concealer shortly. So, that everything's clean. I've washed my hands, and the only thing I've touched so far is the sponge. But what I would suggest for you is just to get her a good um, eye primer. I'm going to be using this one from Milani. And, you, you know, there are several out there, but this is my favorite one from the drugstore. Um, I really don't remember what it cost, um, but it's, you know, and, and our hands are clean. So now that we're touching our eye, and I do have a little bit of irritation around my eyebrows from where I had my brows waxed yesterday. So please keep in mind that I, there is some uh, texture there that is not normally there. It just... It irritates my skin and it it'll take a day or two for it to go down and and that's not uncommon um, for it to irritate um, if you don't want your child drawing their brows on too heavily then having her brows tinted last anywhere from four to six weeks that is something that you might want to think about doing that way she doesn't have to use a brow product at all that's just you know uh, that's a Again, that's a personal preference, but I think that it's something that, um, as a parent, you may want to consider.
um, you may be already paying for her nails to be done. So, you know, I would just, you know, add that in because most salons, you know, offer that kind of um, service. Okay, for my eyeshadow, I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Comfort Zone. This is my brand new one. I'm breaking into it. I wore out my old one and had to chunk it. It broke up. So, this is brand new and I haven't touched it since um, I got it. It does come with this little double-ended kind of thing. Um, you're, you're not gonna get a very good look with that. But it does, if you see here, it tells you where each of the colors go. I'm gonna go ahead and go for a soft golden look, so I'm gonna use this side today. Um, so it tells you, you know, your brow bone, your eyelid, your crease, and your definer. So I'll show you those as we go. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and find me a good brush that I can start laying my um, crease shade in with. This is from Eco Tools. It does say blend on it. It's just really hard to see. It's right there. Um, but it's just a blender brush. This is like a stumpy. Uh, this is really, really one of my favorite brushes from the drugstore. Um, I like this one for working through the crease and uh, all over the lid. And I also like this one because it's really nice and stubby and short. So it's good for the lower lash line. Okay. Now what I'm going to do, I know this says brow bone. And this particular palette from Wet n Wild, I don't know, five or six bucks, maybe, something like that. I'm going to go ahead, my hair is sticking to everything. I'm going to go ahead and cover the entire lid because we have used a primer. Now, if she has more than one palette, I would just say find a matte color that is as close to your skin tone as possible and put that all over the eye before you get started. And it'll really help. Now, this is not a matte. Nothing in here is matte. But let's face it, when girls want to start wearing makeup, you're going to have to find a happy medium because she's going to want to use lots of color and sparkly stuff, but yet you want her to also be presentable and represent you know, what you think is appropriate. So, um, Wet n Wild is just really, it's an inexpensive brand that is a good quality shadow. Yes, most of these are satins and shimmers, but um, if they're applied correctly and they tell you right there what to do with them, um, it shouldn't be that bad. Okay, I'm gonna go in right here to the one that says crease with my blending brush. Okay. Now these are pretty pigmented, so I'm gonna go into what is my crease. Now most young girls are not gonna have hooded lids like me, but I'm gonna go ahead, I start in the outside corner, and I'm gonna start working my way in. Now I did not finish my face and then go to my eyes because I know that I'm gonna be working with pigmented shadows, and I do not want to mess up, you know, an under eye area with fallout. Um, if you are buying from the drugstore, if you come across a palette or a single or a quad or a trio, whatever, um, if you come across one that's really, really powdery, um, you're going to mess up your makeup if you don't go ahead and do your eyes first. So, um, by doing my eyes after doing my foundation, it just kind of gives my foundation a moment to kind of settle and, you know, sit down on the skin and everything because we're going to be setting it. I think you can see that. It's actually fairly light but because of the color. It doesn't take much and it's kind of hard to overdo unless you just go and dig that brush in and you don't shake off any extra or tap it off. So yeah. And, you know, guys, this is probably going to be a long video. It's already 24 minutes, I think is what I'm looking at right here. Just keep that in mind. Um, if this is something that you want your daughter to watch, um, if she doesn't want to listen to you, she thinks she knows everything, <laughs> remember that you're the one that is holding the purse, you're holding the purse strings. Unless she has a job of her own and can buy her own makeup, then she needs to you know, kind of go with you and it needs to be a mutual decision, what is bought and that sort of thing. 
Okay, I'm gonna stop there with the crease shade. This is also from Eco Tools, and this is a shader brush, and it has the um, angled brush on the end. So if she's gonna be doing any kind of eyeliner, this would be a good brush to have. But this is, it just says sh shader on there, and um, definer on the other end. But now I'm gonna go into um, the eyelid, and I'm just gonna kind of work through that just a little bit, tap off the extra, and then I'm actually going to put this on my eyelid when you've been doing it as long as I have, and I'm sure you'll understand, you know, I, I know where my eyelid is and mostly don't have to really look. <laughs> I really don't even have to do much looking in the, the mirror because I know where it is. The reason that I like the comfort, that's, this is called the comfort palette, and the reason that I like this is because it's going to give her the shine and the drama that she's looking for without having to sacrifice for dark purples, blacks, and navy blues. <laughs> because trust me, that's what they're gonna wanna go for when they first start wearing makeup. So they get the shine and sparkle that they're looking for and the trade-off is that you get um, to control what kind of color she's putting on her eyes. I know that I went through a stage where everything was black. I didn't wear it. If it, was black, if it wasn't black, I wasn't wearing it. Um, I just, and my, you know, it was my dark period. I think we all have a stage like that in our lives where we do something and mine was, I just, everything had to be black. And so my makeup was normal because that's what was bought for me. Um, had I had the opportunity, I would say that probably I, I would have been raccoon eyes. <laughs> okay, you can see it's not a huge difference in color. It's just enough that you can see a shadow, which is really all that you need. This is from Real Techniques. It's their powder brush. It the only did I would say the only thing that is um, not good about these they take up a lot of space um, when you store them. But I would just um, use this or the brush blush either one in order to you know check and make sure there's not any fallout on your face okay so um what i think we should do next i would um like to go ahead and work on finishing my eyes and my brows and then you know kind of go in with our concealer and finish off our face um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get started on that. I'm going to be using several different things here. So let me get them. I'm trying to get them without hitting the thing. Okay. I have my ultimate brow from Wet n Wild. Now you don't have to do this. I'm doing it just to kind of show you once again, how it can brighten your brow. I'm just going to use, uh, my little shader brush here, I can re reuse it. And that's one thing that you can tell her. She keeps her brushes nice and clean. They can they can be good for multiple uses. So just that tiny little bit is enough to brighten underneath the arch of my brow to the point that I don't feel like that, I kind of feel like you're almost a little too close to me because that bright thing happens. But, um, We'll see if that happens again, and if it does, I'll, I'll try to fix it. Okay, now what I'd like to do is um, I think that this is one of the best eyeliners that you can get. It is the L'Oreal Voluminous Smoldering Eyeliner. This is for the, wa for the waterline. This is the best one that I can think of. They have it in this dark brown, which I chose for this look, obviously. And they also have it in black. I would stay away from black for a young girl that's just starting with makeup. That's my personal opinion. You can do what you want, of course. But I'm going to tight line and waterline with this. I do have to look at what I'm doing. <laughs> Let me tight line. 
it's just a really good one because you really don't have to make one or two passes. And it stays on the waterline for a long time. Now I know that eyeliner can be the source of a bone of contention <laughs> when it comes to girls, but I would say that, um, you know, liner really does help define their eyes. And instead of going and doing the black wing and all those kinds of things right away, just tight lining and water lining and then doing the bottom lash line like I'm about to do, I think is sufficient for a young lady that's just getting started. So I'm just gonna kinda go right on my lash line with this. Oh, and this is from L'Oreal also. This is uh, the, I'm sorry, it's from Revlon. It's the Revlon Luxurious Color. Let me see if I can get that in frame. It's just a, it's the kind that has the smudger on the top. I'm not gonna be using the smudger today. I'm just gonna kinda go on my lash line with it. I mean, I'm just barely touching. What you're doing is you're clumping it into the lash just a little bit because you're gonna go into the palette again. And this shade that says definer, I'm gonna use my definer brush, the little stumpy one that's on the other end of this one from EcoTools. And I'm gonna go into that and I'm going to smudge it out. And then I go up onto the top. I just poked myself in the eye. Then I go up into the top lash line just a bit. I'm doing mine a little heavier than I expected. I forget sometimes this definer um, shade is actually, <laughs> it's really pigmented and then when you add in the liner. But I think if you want it to be balanced, you need to, you do need to go up onto the top of the top lash line for just a little bit. Now, I am uncomfortable with just how dark it is under my eye. Um, one thing that I would suggest is Bioderma. You can get this on beautylish.com. Um, it's about the only place I think you can find it. Um, you can find it on Amazon, but beautylish.com I think has the better deal. Dip this down in there just a little bit. Run it along that line. Let me show you. Okay, I'm gonna save this look <laughs> because since I went, it went in and it was so dark, I'm just gonna use one of the cosmetic, the pointed cotton swabs and my bioderma that you can get, you know, like I said, I'm just gonna, I've got a washcloth here, so I'm just gonna do it over the washcloth, but I'm just gonna kind of um, stick it in there. It's nice and saturated. Let's so make sure it's not too saturated. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of go along here. This is a micellar water. It's one of my favorite things for removing eye makeup. And what I've done is I've sort of tightened it up just a little bit. So it's not quite so heavy. And the rest of it will clean up with concealer. So there, I hope you can see that I went in a little too hard, my mistake. But there's nothing that you can't clean with a little Q-tip and that's sort worth of The next thing that we're gonna do is I am going to um, go in with my NYX Dark Circle Corrector. Um, it's a paste and um, I'm gonna just go in there with, I have several little brushes here. I'm just trying to decide which one I really wanna use. I'm gonna go in with this uh, Deluxe, it says Deluxe Crease Brush, but it's a nice stumpy little brush and it's really pretty stiff. I'm just gonna go into that cream and I'm going to color correct my eyes just a little bit. I'm just gonna put a little bit of the product here. 
to kind of wake up my tired eyes. If it's really severe, there are drugstore versions of like the Smashbox orange pencil that I use. So there's, you know, you might want to check that out. At Target, I would look for um, color correcting items in either uh, Elf or Pixie. They're both um, pretty well known. And, you know, of course, NYX. You can find NYX at most any drugstore now so yeah so I did that correction now I'm ready to kind of go in with a concealer now I really like the Maybelline Age Rewind um, concealer I like it because it has this on top and basically you twist it and product comes up into this um, yeah I've already twisted it so um, all you do is just kind of go through and um, tap it underneath your eyes or any of the places that you want to brighten your, your face. I don't think that, you know, a young girl needs to take all that time to go and, you know, do a bunch of highlighting and contouring. I think it's just about she needs to wake her face up and be, you know, fairly light and bright eyed and that sort of thing. Um, you know, unless she has something that she's really wanting to correct, then this is good enough. So I just like to go underneath here. I do like to get the corner of the eye, like that right there. Just like that. And that's all I would do. I'm going to go in with this brush. This is a Real Techniques brush, and it's called a base shadow brush, but I like that it's got a little bit of a point to it. I'm just gonna kinda brush this out just a little bit. I want it to stay pretty thick under the eye initially, and then I'm gonna pat it out with the wet beauty sponge to make it flawless. Okay, now it's time to go in with, you can use the clean side I would just go in and pat, pat gently. We don't want to cause any tissue damage to young skin, but just gently. You can use that point to get up in there. And then you can come down just a little bit. And there you go. That's all a young girl needs. Okay, now let's go on to our face. Um, we did use concealer and we did use our makeup. So what we need to do now is go in and set everything. I am using the L'Oreal Infallible um, face powder. It's the matte version. Um, I, I like the Pro Matte. It actually, I had the Maybelline Fit Me but I hadn't opened it and so I gave that to my mom because she needed some powder. And I have the makeup that goes with this, the Infallible Pro Matte Makeup. And I just had this. Now ideally, it would be nice if we had a setting powder from the drugstore that's, uh, you know, just a loose powder, but I don't have one. <laughs> so yeah, that's what I'm gonna be using. So I'm just gonna go in and I'm going to take my big fluffy brush. I'm just gonna kinda do it around and I'm gonna start setting things. And I'm just gonna close my eyes. And I'm gonna set my face. And you need to, anywhere that you've put a wet product, whether it's a cream, a gel, or anything, it needs to be set. That's one of the things I didn't know <laughs> as a child growing up and learning how to do makeup. Um, I never set my face. I didn't know anything about this. Okay, um, now we're gonna go in with the, my light. It's the Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer. This actually has SPF in it. It's one of my favorites. I really, really love it. It's just a pretty, pretty um, bronzer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with this Real Techniques brush. This is called the 
contour brush. Now I'm not really going to contour with this because this is a bronzer. Um, I wouldn't worry about contouring. <laughs> I would just go right, you know, into this. It's it's got it is powerful. <laughs> so go in just really lightly and start warming up the face. Not down here where you would contour, but right above. This is just a really good brush for that. Okay, remember the three I've taught you before. You come down and around. Back up and around. Okay, so we come down and around. Down and around. And the reason for that is because we want to make sure that we get the the upper part of the forehead there. So we can warm that up. We can come down the nose if we have, you know, um, a tan. And our, it, especially, this is a great way, if your foundation gets to be a little too light, this is a good way to warm your face up. Um, I like to do a little bit right there. This is a little extra touch to give you a pout. You can go underneath here and underneath here if you choose to. Um, but really, you know, unless you are trying to camouflage a very pale um, foundation, you, there, there's no need. It's you, You'll be fine without it. Okay, now let's go in with our blush. I chose this blush by Milani. If I can get it open. <laughs> Here we go. This is the um, Romantic Rose by Milani. And I think I got this at CVS. Um, but anywhere that you can find Milani, you can even go to Milani online, Milani.com, and you can purchase and have it delivered to your door. I'm just going to go in with my Real Techniques blush brush. And I'm just going to go right on the apples of my cheeks because I'm a young girl. And I want to have a little bit of a flush. And then I'm going to bring it back just a little bit. I'm not going to overdo it. But a young girl can handle that. Don't let her walk out of the house if she looks like she's been slapped upside the head on each, on each side of her face with a orange paintbrush. <laughs> Believe me, <laughs> believe me, I've seen girls come in and it looks like they've had a brush about this wide, a paintbrush about this wide dipped in orange and they've just been slapped upside the face. <laughs> I have seen so many things as a teacher, you guys, you just can't imagine. <laughs> but yes, I have seen that several times and it's not, it's not pretty. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to go in with... This is the Physician's Formula, the Nudes. This is what I'm going to use. It's just, you know, a lacy looking little box and it lifts up and you'll see that it has shimmer strips. I'm going to go in with this little brush that I have here. Um, and it can be the one, it can be the one that you used for um, powder. It can be the one that you used for, you know, um, the bronzer. It can be any of that. But I just like to swirl it around just a little bit. And then just go right on the tops of the cheeks. Right there. And then up around the eye. Right This is a really good drugstore highlighter. It's not as bam in your face as like a Becca Champagne Pop, but it's appropriate and it's pretty. And you can build it up to whatever, whatever you like. Then I would go just right on the tip of the nose. And then I would also do the 
your little pucker. Just to give it a little something, something. You're not going to get that. I mean, you can see that there's a little bit there, but it's 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 a lot more toned down. And, you know, that's fine. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with my NYX. This is my brow mascara. Now, I have tinted brows, and I could use clear if I wanted to. This is just the one that I grabbed. But I'm only putting this on there, not so much for color, but to tame some of my wild brows. They're just a little bit wild. Um, they need to be brushed through so that they have their shape. See there? My eyes are watering really bad, guys. I'm not really, I'm not sure why they're watering so bad. It's been a few days since I've put any makeup on, so that, that may be it. I don't know. I just know that my eyes, they're not happy with, but they, you know, actually I woke up this morning and they were not happy with me. Okay, this is from Revlon, just from the drugstore. Now, of course, I use one from Tarte. But I, until just very recently, was still using a drugstore. So I wanted to pull my drugstore out just so that you could see. Let me get my mirror a little closer. There are, um, at the drugstore, the Tweezer Man brand is excellent. But, you know, that's something that you can decide how much you want to spend and that sort of thing. Now I'm gonna go in with, this is from um, Jordana. It's just the, I, I mean, it's a couple of dollars. It's really inexpensive, but it's their best volume, extreme volumizing mascara. So I'm gonna go in with this. It has a big brush, so if she is not in very good control, then she could, you know, maybe go with something. They have several different kinds, and you can get one with a smaller wand. But I'm just gonna kinda go in, and I'm gonna give my lashes just a short, quick little pass. Now let's do the, the bottom. The good thing about these is you don't have to get very close to your eye. <laughs> you can get those bottom lashes um, really easily without having to get too far to your eye. And because if you, you know, you scratch your eye, you can get an infection and, and be in some serious trouble really easily. So you, you do want to be very careful about that. I mean, we all need to be careful about that. And I just touched my nose. <laughs> I just touched my nose and there, I got it. Okay, so I know that my eyes are watering, but you can probably tell that I have a mascara now. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with this pencil from Milani. It is their Color Statement Lip Liner in 04 All Natural. And it's just a, you know, a natural look. Remember, come down down this way okay it, it's always best to fill your lips in a little and rub them together just so that there's a light coating of color on your lip that way when you're eating lunch and your lipstick comes off until you can get to the bathroom or wherever it is that you want to freshen up at you'll still have color on your lips now I'm going to be using this is the NYX 
Um, I love this. This is their matte lipstick in the color Euro Trash. And it's by NYX, as I said, it's a matte. And I thought that it was appropriate with the eye. Um, it's a really pretty look for fall. And that's when we're going back to school is the fall. So yeah, guys, I mean, this is something that I would consider very appropriate for someone who's just now starting to wear makeup or just makeup for school in general. You can leave out or add to any steps that you like. That It just depends on how much time you want to spend. If you don't want to spend very much time, then I would say hit the areas that are very, very necessary with some concealer. Um, dust a little powder, maybe a little blush. Throw on some mascara and a little bit of gloss. Um, it doesn't even have to be, you know, or just some chapstick. And you can go and you'll, you'll still, it'll still be obvious that you've done something. And if you're watching this and you're wanting your parents to agree to um, make up for this school year, just keep in mind that less is more when you start using makeup. You don't want to get it out of your head. You don't want to invest a lot of money and be allergic to something. So just be very careful. Make sure that you're very clean. Use clean hands and always keep your brushes and other utensils nice and freshly cleaned. Um, and don't rest on your hands when you're in class because you'll introduce bacteria to your skin that way and you'll have breakouts. So the last thing that I have for you is the L'Oreal Infallible. This is the drugstore um, makeup setting spray that I prefer. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of that on myself. It doesn't take much. Just spurt a little bit of that on there and let it dry. And your makeup will stay, or it should stay as long as you keep your hands away from your face, it should stay while you're in school. You, it should last throughout the day. And it'll be age appropriate. You'll be pretty. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you like this video or you found anything um, important or you learned anything, I hope that you did anyway. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up because it's really helpful. And I'm sorry if I was a mess in this video. I've kind of been out of it. And, you know, I just, uh, yeah, I've just been kind of out of it for the last few days. That's the reason there's been way more planner videos than there has makeup related videos. So I hope you can forgive me for that. Um, but yes, do definitely give me a, you know, a thumbs up if you enjoyed or learned anything. And I hope that you did. And um, I think I already said that once. <laughs> and um, if you are new to my channel and you can overlook the fact that I'm not quite with it today, <laughs> but I wanted to get you know, a look up for you guys before school starts back because it's important and there's lots of things that I felt like I had to say that you needed to know. So, um, yeah, I would love for you to subscribe if that's the case. So, I will talk to you guys later. I hope that you all have a good evening and I will talk to you later. Bye.